This is PokePress coverage of the 2014 Pokemon World Championships in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Stephen Reich, here at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center in Washington, D.C. And uh, we're here at the World Championships of Pokemon for 2014. So uh, we're going to do a little tour here, take a look at what's going on here at the Convention Center. Uh, first thing, over here on the left, we have, uh, I guess, uh, competitor check-in eventually. Uh, they'll just say check-in now there. But one thing we're going to have here is gunslinging. Now, if you're not familiar with gunslinging, what this means, uh, no firearms involved. Uh, but what happens is they'll take someone, usually a prominent player or maybe even a, a company official, they'll just uh, give them a table and he'll, they'll take on all challengers. Uh, everyone will go through one at a time and they'll just keep going there. Uh, you usually get something if you win, but it's just an opportunity for people to play a... Uh, usually a, a prominent player who maybe didn't make it to day two or whatever. So uh, that's what's down that hallway. Let's go around here. Uh, so we're actually on the third floor of the convention center. So we're pretty high up here. Um, so the first thing you'll notice over there is we have the uh, standard Pikachu balloon. You'll see it at Nationals and you'll see it at Worlds. And as we walk down this hallway, you can see over on the left is the information kiosk and, uh, I guess, PR check-in. Uh, these will, of course, answer any questions you have about if times have changed for various things, what's happening, uh, you know, and they have a little information about the lost and found. One difference this year versus other years at the uh, that Worlds, um, usually they have on-site open gaming. This year it's at one of the uh, nearby hotels in uh, in in uh, one of the meeting rooms there. Uh, not 100% sure. Obviously they ran into some sort of uh, issue trying to, to arrange it like they usually do. Not sure exactly uh, what happened, but uh, you know it, that's just kind of the difference this year. This is the overall event schedule, uh, subject to change, of course, uh, throughout the, the weekend. You know, not everything goes quite right. Um, there's obviously this list when the, the plan stuff, opening ceremony, character distribution, uh, all that good stuff is, uh, you know, in the autograph signings on Sunday. So let's see, if we move over here, we're not going to go into the convention hall just yet. There's a couple things I want to show you out here. First of all, the art for this year, they've got these plastered on the wall. Uh, I noticed that there's all these lines resembling the uh, DC subway system. Uh, is that kind of what they go on? You're going to see those a lot out here. Uh, otherwise, the very top World Championship logo. So that's, uh, that's sort of the aesthetic they're going with. Uh, over here on the left, we have a little uh, poster for the P Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions. Now, of course, uh, the Friday, tonight's show is sold out. I've got my ticket. Uh, but So they've added another one on Saturday uh, over nearby here at the Warner Theater, uh, you know, a couple blocks away from the convention center. Uh, and that'll be eventually touring the country. Okay, next up over here, we have uh, a couple of blow-ups. Uh, Xerneas, Yvettel, uh, th these things you always see at the uh, World Champions, they always like to put these on display. Next up over here, we have uh, Hall of Fame, shows previous winners. Again, more art. You may notice we have a uh, Ivysaur, Charmeleon, War Turtle, nice little pattern there. Slowbro, not in its mega form. Uh, I guess they couldn't get that done at the last minute, so it's just regular old slow bro there. The next thing is we have a set of kiosks for the Pokemon trading card game online. And, uh, you know, these aren't actually computers this time. They're actually, it looks like they're uh, uh, iPads that they're, uh, they're building a mobile version of this. Um, so I guess they're uh, kind of branching out there. But this gives people a chance to, to sort of sample the online trading card game if they haven't uh, done so already. Uh, 
So that covers uh, most of what's out here. And uh, so now we're gonna go back over into the uh, ballroom and we're gonna check out the main event area. As usual, the entrance has a nice welcome sign over there. We've got both uh, mega forms of Charizard on either end. So let's go inside and take a look at the actual uh, tournament area. Right now they're running the last chance qualifier for the trading card game. So which is a, a single elimination tournament. Uh, t once they uh, get down to four players, they will, uh, uh, those four people get the last invites into Worlds starting tomorrow. So over there we have the XY starters in blow up form. I know. I do kind of wonder if uh, next year maybe they might uh, bring out the uh, the, uh, the the Hoenn ones, but uh, that'll be then. Next up over here we have our creative corner, just like at Nationals. There's some uh, coloring options and a few other things. Behind that we have some tables for parents. Uh, every major tournament has those, the uh, parents who want to watch but still want to do it from a safe distance, so we, uh, we, they provide tables so that people can do just that. You'll notice that they have a large number of boards set up for pairings. Uh, you know, not everyone has access to the online version, so they do still have to put some of those up. We have more parent tables uh, in the middle here. There's a camera, I guess the, the primary camera for tomorrow's opening ceremonies. And then uh, up ahead of us, you can see the main stage. Let's head over there and just take a kind of a brief look over there. Again, going with the uh, subway aesthetic. Not sure, to be honest, how closely that resembles the actual subway system. But we have our main stage. Uh, got a couple monitors, one left, one center, one right. And we actually got a couple monitors so that the people on stage can see uh, what's being displayed on the screens at any given time. So let's swing around here. There's not too much else to see, but I did want to mention all the posters. Uh, Diancy, uh, Alakazam, lots of mega forms on the posters this time. Obviously playing up the uh, whole mega evolution uh, mechanic. Um, and uh, the other thing you'll notice in the background there, let's see, we have our trophy case. Nothing in it as of yet, but I'm sure that will change probably tonight or tomorrow. And we have a, a photo backdrop. There's another one on the left-hand side of the stage. Over here at the far end, we have Tournament HQ. There's actually one on each side of this, this area. Uh, this one in particular, though, seems to have the first aid station, or at least the first aid kit. It's hard to tell from this distance. But uh, should any uh, minor mishaps occur, that's where players are, are going to go. All right, well, that is uh, the Pokemon World Championships 2014 tour. Uh, hope you guys really like watching this, and we'll have more updates uh, as time goes on. Thanks. This has been a PokePress Special Report.